A lot of people have been learning about Adobe Bridge lately, which is a free software primarily used for file exploring, file management, uh, especially in a photographer's workflow. Now, it's been great for me, I've been loving it, but I recently found something that I find is even better for people who may not be just photographers, but have their foot in one or maybe multiple different other creative avenues. So whether you're a graphic designer, a 3D artist, a videographer, a motion designer, photographers, music producer, even more than that, all of these kinds of professions can benefit from using the software called Eagle. So Eagle is a little bit similar, but also a little bit different than Bridge. Uh, they're both made to preview a lot of different kinds of files, but Eagle goes one step further and can preview tons and tons of different files. On their website, they show a breakdown between Mac and Windows and the different files that they can read on each operating system but you can see that it's quite an extensive list on both operating systems. Now, one thing Eagle isn't is a replacement of File Explorer or Finder. Basically, Eagle will have its own library on your hard drive, and you're gonna be dragging and dropping your assets into Eagle. As you do that, the library in your hard drive will start expanding and the storage will start obviously getting bigger because you're actually adding to this folder, which is your Eagle library. So Eagle has a 30 day free trial where you basically get 100% control of the software. After the 30 days, you basically lose access to Eagle, but it's not too expensive to buy a license for it. And I think it's pretty much a license forever. It's not subscription based, which is really great. So I'll be throwing a link in the description if you wanna go and check it out and see what the pricing is like. It's almost like having a Pinterest board, but you're saving it to your own computer so that you can preview it along with all of your other assets. Eagle also does a really good job of organizing by color. So if you're a graphic designer looking for a specific orange asset, then you can just filter to look for all of your assets that are colored orange. It also has a lot of really nice hover features to preview your files. Sound effects, for example. It can be such a pain in the butt to find audio files for sound effects because there isn't really much of a way to preview them without actually dragging them into your editor like Premiere Pro. But now instead, you can just import them to Eagle, hover over them, and then every time you hover over it, it automatically previews that sound. Instead of having to go and import all of them into Premiere Pro and then double click on each one to preview each one at a time. All right, so now when we open up Eagle, this is the website that we see here. Uh, if we scroll down, we can see all of these different ways that we can use. So here we see the browser extension in work. Uh, we can also bookmark videos and you can see that populate in the Eagle app right away. Uh, there's also a screenshot, which also has an option to add directly into your Eagle. Uh, you can drag and drop all of your files into Eagle all at once. And there's also the clipboard where you can just copy and paste into Eagle. So now when we go to the download page, this is what we see here. So I'm gonna go and click Get Eagle for Windows and I'm going to save this file. And then here we see that there's also extensions for the browsers that we use. Uh, so if we go and click on this, we can see that, so this extension basically acts as a bridge between your browser and your Eagle app. So now we see the EXE in our download folder. I'm just gonna double click and run the installation window. All you have to do is set a destination for the Eagle folder to live in, create a desktop icon, start Eagle on login, and then click install. This process will take a little bit of time. I seem to be a little bit slower than I was expecting it to be. Now all we do is click finish and it should open itself right up. So now we're gonna go and click get started. And that's gonna prompt us to install the browser extensions, which I've already done. Now it's time to create my library. Uh, if you've already used Eagle before, then you can import an existing library that you have, but for most of us, I think we're gonna be creating a new one. So we're gonna name it, and now we're going to go and find a place for this library to live. So I've got an M.2 drive, so I'm gonna save it to that location. And now this is what Eagle looks like. 
Uh, we can change the color of the theme in the settings. There seems to be a lot of different settings that we can switch up, but, but for the most part, I think I'm just gonna leave it all on default. So now if you haven't installed your extension, then there's a little button on the home page of Eagle that you can go and click on. It's gonna open up the Eagle uh, page for the extensions. And from there, you can choose the browser that you're using. So here, as an example, I'm just gonna click on this first uh, article that I can see. Here we have a nice little GIF of water and a water bottle. And if I right click, I can save image to Eagle. So didn't have to drag it or drop it anywhere, but if we go back to Eagle, you can see this progress bar goes all the way up. And it says Eagle is trying to download this asset. And as the progress bar goes away, now we can see that GIF of water automatically populates into Eagle's app, adds itself to the library, and now I have something in my library. So on the right hand side, we can see that uh, it has all the color palettes of this GIF. Um, we can add tags or notes to it. It has the URL that we got it from, and then it shows a little bit more properties and data about it. So while Eagle doesn't necessarily replace Adobe Bridge 100%, I do think that they work well in tandem with each other. I wouldn't suggest going and throwing all of your raw photos into Eagle so that you can preview them. Obviously, that's probably where Adobe Bridge excels a little bit more. But I do think Eagle will be able to handle all of your other creative assets a little bit better than Adobe Bridge. So moving forward, I definitely see myself working with both of these side by side in my workflow, especially considering I do a mix of photos, videos, and 3D and graphics. Moving forward, I'm gonna start adding more folders to my left-hand panel so that it'll be easier for me to organize all of my assets into uh, what kind of work I'm doing so I could have all of my video assets in one folder, all of my graphics assets in another, all of my sound effects in another folder. And that way I'll be able to kind of separate my Eagle app into all the different kinds of workflows that I'm working with. So I hope this gave you a good overview of what Eagle is. So if you're wanting to go check it out for yourself, the URL is eagle.cool. It's quite a cool URL if you ask me. But that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, drop a like, and if you loved it, drop a subscribe. Catch you in the next one. Peace.